a corn cob packed with poison tossed into a homeowner's backyard. So was it random or was somebody targeted? Denver 7's Lance Hernandez talked with a man whose dog got sick from that poison, says the neighborhood's now on high alert. We've learned that at least one other homeowner found a corn cob in his yard, which is raising questions about how widespread that poisoning is. Three-year-old Austin Hartman is a hero. Right here. He found the corn cob with bluish green poison in the backyard. I said there's an emergency. His dog, Donut, grabbed it. That way I tell Daddy. John Hartman came out and saw that their other dog had the cob in her mouth. He rushed them to the vet, who induced vomiting, and then treated both dogs with charcoal. They survived. We can pick them and eat them. Yeah. Hartman is grateful his son didn't touch the poison. Anything fascinates him. It doesn't matter if it's a rock or a stick or a car or a, microphone. or a microphone or anything like that. We're really scared. Neighbor Jim Fisher. We have two dogs ourselves. Says they've been taking care of their daughter's dog while she moves. We don't feel it's safe for her with her having diabetes. If she got poisoned, it'd be at a much higher risk than another dog. So the Fishers are taking Lily back to their daughter's new apartment. Chris Hespi found this chewed up corn cob in his front yard when he returned from a camping trip two days ago. He didn't think anything of it until we told him about his neighbor's experience. Yeah, I would guess somebody's probably trying to get rid of rabbits. Hartman says if someone's targeting rabbits, they're not doing it safely. Completely irresponsible. We have so many small children, school age children in this neighborhood. People walk their dogs all over. Not to mention illegal. If you know who was responsible, Broomfield Police would like to hear from you. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Good grief. And the most common cause of animal poisoning in Colorado is bromothalin. That's a form of rat poison. Very difficult to treat. There's no known antidote. The ASPCA says if you think your pet's been poisoned, go to a vet. Call a vet ASAP. Also, call the Animal Poison Control Hotline.